Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of decimal division with models. This is standard 5.3F in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 10 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a simple division problem, which we will solve. I'll show, show you how to do that. 1.2 divided by 3. But we need to match it up to a model first. So let's take a look at each of these models, and we'll see if we can find one that matches. So let's take a look at F first. So F looks like they actually have it flipped. Because take a look at this. Uh, this is one hole right here. This is two holes right here. This is three holes. And I know those are holes just because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten inside each of those. So this one looks like it's got three holes divided by, and it almost looks like it's trying to do 1.2. Take a look at this. It's got one right here. And then it's got the point 0.2. But the problem is, is it doesn't have equal groups of 1.2, right? So it's almost like not a 3 divided by. It almost looks like a 3 maybe minus 1.2. If we wanted to have another set of 1.2, right, we would have, that would be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that would be another 1.2 right there. And then you don't have enough. To have so this would be this would be three divided by 1.2 then you'd have a remainder so either way you look at it that is f is just not going to work g hmm g is interesting here because take a look what we have we've got this set right here this is 1.2 and then you've just got three but it looks like they're together so it almost looks like we're adding, right? So like we're adding 1.2, and this is 0 0.3. So if you're adding 1.2 and, and 0 0.3, it looks like you're getting a total of 1.5. But that's, so we got 1.5 because this is your 1 right here, and this is your half, your 0 0.5 right here. But obviously, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for 1.2 or 1 and 2 tenths divided into three chunks. So what we have H is we've got in total, that's 1. And looks like I've got 2 tenths there. Okay, so I've got 1.2 in H. And then it looks like I've got 1, 2, 3 three groups that are equal. So I'm thinking H might be it. And this looks like each group has got four tenths. And yeah, this is 0 0.4, 0 0.4. And this 0 0.4 stretches across the first hole and the 0.2 left over. So H is looking pretty good. Let's see what J looks like. Oh, look, we've got 1.2 in J, 1.2, 1.2. So quite honestly, we can do either repeated addition, or this is really 1.2, this is three groups of 1.2, right? So we're going to get 3.6. So wrong operation. So I'm thinking it's H. So how do we do multiplication or division with a decimal if we don't have a picture? Well, here's the trick. It's just like regular division. The only difference is, is you take your decimal, you bring it up here to the decimal bar, your quotient. Now, if you have a decimal in the divisor, you've got to do something a little bit different, but you're, but we're not dealing with that here. We have to, we can't divide with a decimal in the divisor, so we have to move decimals. But in this case, our divisor is just a whole number. So, put the decimal up there, pretend this is 12, 3 goes into 12, how many times? Four times. And there we go. So our answer is going to be H.